pile. So I'm going to do, let's see, turn on HTML mod and the HTML shortcut, create a HTML page, save the file as, let's just say that, and show in browser, empty, that's good. So something, show, good, uh, enlarge it, okay. And uh, let's say Emac Lisp. So Emac Lisp code, and I want to do this. Let's say message. Let's say one plus one. Okay. Uh, okay. One plus two. Eval three. That's good. There three. And uh, let's do something more fancy. Let's say different. Uh, x x insert insert nah. insert stuff uh, okay I want to insert basically okay wait what oh insert okay p one two three four and uh, backward char four. Okay, eval. We don't need that. Eval. And uh, let's run it. XX. That's good. That's fantastic. So I'm doing that. So I'm gonna demo. Let's say I wanna. Okay, close that. Put it here. Show in browser. You see. That's a code. So I'm writing a tutorial for, uh, let's say, Emac list or something. Then, but it's not colored. I want it colored so you know you can do that. Oh, that's that's good. Wait, it's still not colored. Oh, because I know that's why. Because I need a CSS file. So go back. Uh, I go Emacs. Look, that's good. Uh, there it is. There it is the file. So copy the path, paste it there, make a link, and go back there. It's wonderful. So so this is this this is Emacs this. Let's try that we can do uh Perl, let's say. Perl and uh oh I I forgot Perl stuff. So but we can do print three plus five. Eval. That's correct. Eight. So copy it, close that, put it here, and uh, show. Not colored. No good. Now color it. Show. Oh, now it's good. <laughs> now for Python, it's the same. Let's say Python. Uh, Python. Yeah. Uh, print three plus seven. I can run it. 10 is good. Close, paste, make it color. That's good. Uh, and now you see lots of code here like span and span and span. You can you cannot read it but I can press a button and you'll show then I can uh, edit, insert uh, p tag. You know I can edit and make it color again. Let's see if it's correct. Yes, it's correct. And or I can press a key and uh, the whole thing, um, you know, get gets dehtmlized. So that's good. Um, so uh, that's the thing I want to show you. That's that's very convenient. Now I have a tutorial on how to do that. Now remember, it's like oak mod. Let, let me ramble a little, a little bit. Uh, let's like. For example, in org mod, you can do pretty much the same thing. Uh, Emacs, practical Emacs, editing stuff, org mod, uh, embed code. Yeah, so in org mod, you can pretty much do the same thing. So, but similarly, uh, I'm doing that with HTML. Uh, oh yeah, so th I have a tutorial on how how to do that. So that is um, here. Syntax color source code in HTML. So here I explain to you how it's done. 
and if you just want to use the code you can uh, it's available at um, Xi HTML mod so you can you can um, use that okay that, that's it for this video thank you for watching bye